Your daddy is a soldier, son. Your daddy's gone to war. His heavy hands, they hold his gun. His aim is keen and sure. Your daddy's in the desert, son. He's in the darkness and the dust, and he is fighting for his country. Son, he's doing it for us. Your daddy's coming home soon. Not long now till he's back. And we can dress you in your smartest shirt and meet him down the track and he will put you on his shoulders and you will sing and clap and laugh. And I will throw my arms around him and I will hold him close at last. Your dad ain't left the house again. Your dad ain't brushed his teeth. Your dad keeps getting angry, son. At nights he doesn't sleep. He's having his bad dreams again. He seems worn out and weak. And yes, I've tried to be there for him, son. But we barely even speak. It's like he don't know what to say to me. He don't know how to tell it. He's won medals for his bravery, but he just wants to forget it. He is drinking more than ever, son. Before, he never cried. But now I wake at night and I feel him shaking by my side. But he turned to me. At last, my son, he turned to me in tears and I held his face real close to mine and I asked him what he feared and he told me, it's getting darker. He said, it has not disappeared. He said, I see it even sharper now the sand and smoke have cleared. There was this kid he'd got to know, young, just turned 18, bright and kind. His name was Joe. Joe kept his rifle clean. Joe's girlfriend was expecting. Joe loved to joke and laugh. And Joe marched in front of your old man as they patrolled the path. Now, everything was quiet until they heard that dreaded blast. And then the man that marched in front of Joe was completely blown apart. And some shrapnel hit Joe in the face and gouged both eyes at once. So the last things that those brown eyes ever saw just was the man in front. Limbs and flesh and bone and blood, ripped up and thrown around. And after that, just blackness, just the taste, the stink, the sound. And I tell you this, my son, because I know what you'll be like. I know as soon as you've grown old enough, you'll want to go and fight in whatever battle needs you. You will pledge your blood and bone, not in the name of good or evil but in the name of home. Now your dad believes in fighting, son. He fights for you and I, but the men that send the armies in will never hear us cry. I don't support these wars, my son. I don't believe they're right, but I do support the soldiers who go off to war and fight. Troops just like your daddy, son. Soldiers through and through who wear their uniform with pride and do what they are told to do. But when you're grown, my sweet, my love, please don't go fighting wars. Fight the men that start them, son. Fight a cause that's yours. Because it seems so full of honour, yes, so valiant, yes, so bold. But the men that send the armies in, they send them in for gold. They send them in for oil and they tell us it's for Britain. But the men come home like daddy, angry and spend their days just drinking. Trying to get perspective on those thoughts they can't stop thinking while their sons stare at their daddy's chests and watch the medals twinkling.